Man, I love powertrains. For those who don't know what powertrains is, basically, powertrains was a tool line that Jack Specifics made around 2012. And these things were kind of cool. Because for one, they're like toys of realistic locomotives, except with, you know, you know fictional road names, because, you know, copyright. Yeah, I still have this caboose. I still have this engine's caboose. Anyway, Jack Specifics made a ton of powertrains. Locomotives, rolling stock, and sets. Other than just this green transport engine from the city transport set. Hell, they even had a steam engine at one point. Which that, which that wasn't the only steam engine. That steam engine also got a couple of re repaints. Which is really cool. Unfortunately, uh, powertrains was cancelled around 2000. 16 or 15 or 14, probably 2014. But it later got rebooted into, if I can get an engine, it later got rebooted into Powertrains 2.0, which these are smaller from their predecessor, but they have a bit more detail. Unfortunately, with this with this deep detail, it came with a price. They had to sacrifice the speed switch with the original powertrains. It was it's fast and faster. Not only that, these things. My camera is going up. Now that these things had a different track system, way different from their predecessors. So for you kids that happen to have Powertrains 2.0, yeah, this thing cannot work with this thing, and this thing cannot work with this thing. So that's that kind of sucks. Powertrain Powertrains 2.0 was needed now because. The wrong stock was a bit more detailed, like this caboose. It wasn't all stickers. I got a couple of Powertrains 2.0 stuff, like there. On the engine. Oh yeah, I was gonna do a review before this, but unfortunately at the time my phone was losing storage, so I just deleted all the footage and gave up on it. These tankers. And uh, I think that's about. All right, I have more stuff right here. Wow, well, I'm worried. I'm mainly worried about storage. So I'm gonna try to do this quick. Unfortunately, just like its predecessor, Powertrains 2.0 was also canceled around 2020, probably due to COVID. Man, I remember these were canceled. They weren't announced, but you know it got cancelled. Because for one, when I've been when I went to Target to get more powertrains after I got the the space center set, the pegs where the powertrains would normally be. Uh the sticker where it says the price and what these things are, they were removed and replaced with a price tag well price sticker and name for other for you know diecast cars because this is because these things were located with the diecast cars aisle. Not only that, the if I can grab it out real quick. This RC engine from the RC set and the starter set and in the starter set was were in clearance. Not only that, Jack Pacific removed Powertrains 2.0 from their website. I mean, you can still access Powertrains 2.0, the page itself, but you can only access this by 
looking at it by clicking on a certain picture on Google. You can't go directly through uh, Jack Specific's front page. If that doesn't say cancellation, then I don't know what does. Anyway, let me put this thing back on the track. What's left of it. Yeah, I'm so glad that I still have my my auto transport train from the from the green version of the CD loader playset. And I'm glad I still have its caboose, surprisingly. But I don't have the rest of its rolling stock and this is the only track I have. Which is really unfortunate. Then again, I was like very young around 2013, which, yeah, I got this around Christmas of 2013. Again, I was pretty young around 2013, so I don't know how to store stuff properly. Yeah. Now, you're probably asking, why are you making a video about powertrains when this is all you have to show? A quick drink of water. Um, that's not entirely true, because, while we were going, to, oh, well, while we were going to the beach, we decided to do a quick pit stop at a store called Ollie's. Now, if you don't know what Ollie's is, basically the stores that buy a bunch of stuff from bigger stores, and just sell, and they just resell them at a lower price, kind of like big lots. If y'all have big lots where y'all live. Anyway, at Ollie's, of course they have a toy aisle, because, yeah, some toys don't get sold well. Anyway. In the toy aisle, I looked at the pegs, and, by sur and this caught me by surprise, I saw... Uh, three pegs filled with powertrain stuff. Not 2.0, but the original classic stuff. Series 1 to Series 2. And in this video, oh, we're going to unbox this stuff. Again, like I said, Ollie's is one of those stores that sell that resells things at a lower price. So back then, these two pack, these these powertrains two packs were costed four bucks, and this four pack mainly with the coaches and certain pieces of rolling stock for certain engines costed around seven bucks. And the powertrains two point no four packs. Costed like nine bucks, if I remember correctly. Right, was it not? With enough stalling, let's begin to unbox. Let's start out with at least two greatest. So I'll put the other stuff over there. Oh, that nearly fell. Alright, let's start off with graffiti freight. Now at Ollie's, there were like. Two versions of the four pack the metro train, the metro high speed train, and the dragon. I got the dragon, I could have gotten two, I could have gotten both, but I don't want to buy too much. And there are like three versions of the two packs it was the graffiti freight, the rescue freight, which I bring right here. I just and there was also this Arcrayum art uh zoo train that wasn't interested so I just left it on the shelf with pegs. So yeah, we got the oh yeah. Right, let's unbox this first. Don't worry. You can still get a boxed car trains two pack on eBay. For a low price. Let's get this out of its blister. 
Oh yes, it comes with the little paper. Can we just look at the back of this pack? For, for those who were young at, in 2013, doesn't this look nostalgic? Yeah, these things have like realistic looking couplers that really stick together. A space train, military freight, London subway, air race city bullet. Stock. Oh yeah, that was the two pack I saw at Ollie's. Yeah, yeah, I got the green version on the. Uh, oh, that's what it's called, the Auto Loader City Set. Yeah, I got the green version. The starter set, crane set, mining set, tra track pack set. Yeah, this looks a bit. Yeah, this is nostalgic. Wow, let's look at this little pamphlet. So yeah, the entirety is the the entirety of the two packs for series two is it was in Ollie's. Holding it sideways that way you can see the entire page. Gonna turn it this way, that way you can see it all. On close up, power trains, collect, connect and expand. You got the animal pack, the emergency pack, which this next set will unbox, and the graffiti set, which I have right now. The other side has feet, ha explains the features. You tilt, tilt it this way. Explain the coupling and the features. I don't know. Right, let's get these out of the blister. Of course, you have to fall. Oh, oh, and this feels nostalgic. Reminds me of the box card this originally came with. Well, of course, they don't make unique moldings for box cards. I mean, why would they? So this is United Concrete. Why would you name your railroad company United Concrete? I mean, I never heard of construction companies owning their own boxcars, I'm mainly the railroads thing. Anyway, this has a nice sticker detail. And they got graffiti, which, oh yeah, the realism of these toys. Unlike, if you exclude certain sets, then yeah, the realism of these toys are neat. This side got a bit of detail. Yeah, it's not concrete. I thought I was right. I got more graffiti. Man, these were the model trains for four year olds. The great, yeah, another great thing about power trains. They are a great thing to get kids into model railroading. Yeah, let's expand the train. Yeah, this is the only track. Like I said before, this is the only... The only remaining track. Right, now onto the tanker. We gotta make this quick because I'm losing storage again. Who would have figured? That was tight. Anyway, here we got Capstone Mills tanker. This is a parody of Canadian National, of course. They actually stayed a bit consistent with this company, if I'm correct. Because that was also... Because... Hold up. Capstone Mills was also on the tank... Also the tanker for this set. Um, yeah, I believe it also... The tanker on this... On this set. The green version. See that capstone mills, a bit of powertrains lore. Wait, of course it got graffiti. Oh my god, it's Friday Night Funkin'. Here's the other side, same thing. Yeah. Just connected to the train. 
Yeah, I got a bit of rivet detail on top. So yeah, I may have noticed that I bought two graffiti freight sets. Well, I just want to have another one just to keep mint in box for nostalgia's sake. Yeah, no. You could still get a mint in box powertrains pack, two pack on eBay if you look in the right places. Plus, here's the I am gonna keep this box. It's a bit nostalgic to me. We got more wagons. Now let's add on to that with these. Man, if only they placed the sticker on the blister. Instead of the actual card. Well, I'll try to remove this after. Actually, I'll try to remove it right now. No, wait, I'll remove it afterwards. I'm losing the storage. Right. These two. And since the camera moved that way, I'm going to open this one first. Got to make this quick because my phone is losing storage. Throw that away. Get these out. Yeah, there is a fire. Oh, yeah, Jack Specific did make a fire rescue train. Which, these are these. Which, this is what this pack is made for that train. Doesn't that I don't have that train? It's a part of this train. It could be like a type of sponsor's car to support your local fire department. Or once I do, oh, the sticker's newly. There we go. There we go. Or this could be a, um, yeah. or this could be a rest. I don't know, but, yeah, this car is pretty neat. Now, the main reason why I bought this pack is Gondola. We gotta have variety in this set. Now, for real though, I am going to keep this in box for nostalgia's sake. Anyway. Put this back in the box. I believe this is just the same thing as the last one. Yep, it is. Put that in the pile of saved boxes. Where did I put this other saved box? Oh, right there. Not in the trash. Right. To the last pack. Actually, let me, let me put this a part of the train. Yeah, we forgot to look over the gondola. And this side is completely flat for a sticker, but it got some pretty nice and creative. Yeah, 2012 copyright Jack Specifics. Oh yeah, these have detailing under them. So they are the bits is the same. But, yeah, at least I thought that counts. Got some inside gondola detail if it can focus. There we go. And they also at the ends too. Though don't like how they made this end of the gondola. Don't like how they made that step. But oh well. That's good enough. For the big pack, and only for two bucks. Can you believe it? It was seven ninety nine back then. 
Now look, now looking at the back of this. Now this is way more nostalgic. Yeah, this is serious one. Got the bullet train, coupling system. I guess the the CXX of the Power Trains world, Power City, I, I believe that that's what I yeah that's what it's called. The packs. Oh yeah, yeah the original bullet. The military train is way better than the series two. Yeah, it's way better than the series. Two. Actually, they take that back. They both look good. Unlike in train, uh, Power Trains two point oh, but yeah. Quick landscape view of these. I might try to find a. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can access the old Power Trains toys website through Archiver or to see if it's still open. But we won't find that out until I post this video afterwards and look. Anyway, let's get this out of the box, shall we? May I have to delete two hour long movies just to, to say get some storage to unbox these. Those movies were Smokey and the Bandit and Christine. No, I can reinstall them on a newer phone. When this one starts to fail. Which it isn't. It's my fault for down screenshot too much shit. They weren't NFTs, but if they... I don't believe in NFTs. Ugh. Oh no, I'm messing up the box. Oh well. Could be. Hello. And here they are, right out of the box. Now, I know I don't have the high speed engine made for these, but I already have. But I already have a backup plan for that. See, when I first saw these, I immediately thought of making an F forty pH shell for this to put on top of it, and to have these pull these cars, cause these cars. Look more like commuter train cars. That, I don't know, but is it, it? These seem like these seem more like commuter train cars, and not high speed rail cars. No. And so here's the dome car. Looks pretty classy. And first class. Yes, first class is right there. If it can focus. Yeah, unlike Power Trains 2.0, these has rolling stock. Oh, pretty nice and a bit out of scale compared. Actually, no, they're not out of scale. Next car. I believe this. Yeah, all these these three other cars are just passenger cars. They got some nice sticker detail for what they are. And the same. Oh lord, this camera does not want to focus, and it's at like fifty percent battery, forty now. But there we go. And I don't believe it's really that important to show the other cars since they're yeah, they're basically the same. And I believe on the other side too. Yep. But oh boy, this paper, the little pamphlet, is different now. There we go. Here's the bullet train pack. Yeah, yeah basically the same. And there's the dome car. The industrial pack. Pretty cool. And the military pack. It got more to show now with accessories. And that's basically it. A bit more to show and offer with Series 1, surprisingly. I'll pull this up later. Man, what a nostalgic trip this was. 
unboxing these expansion expansion part. Blah, I can't talk. Yeah, this is pretty nostalgic for me. Unboxing these powertrains from the stock. It remind me of a time where at one point they sold toys that resemble realistic trains. Man. Right, it's already 10 p.m. surprisingly. So, um, I'm gonna just wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.